Uh, hi, very busy few days as you can see from the national media and the broader uh, and the bro outside the bubble in Dáil Éireann, but we've been very busy on the whole issue of Brexit. We had an emergency cabinet meeting, as you know, on uh, on Wednesday morning at 9.30. Very, very important cabinet meeting, but the deal that was on the table, as you can see by now, it's a fairly good deal. It's good for Ireland, it's good for the North, but it's, uh, it, it, gives, uh, it solidifies the Good Friday Agreement and also deals with the whole issue of soft border, and I think that's an important thing. Uh, the problem is going to be in the, in the House of Commons, let's say, over the next couple of weeks. Will Theresa May get it through? I hope she does. I hope she survives, but I don't know how that's going to go. But the essential uh, uh, point about the Brexit proposal on the table at the moment, the draft agreement is a very good agreement. It's good for Ireland, North and South. But it's also, I mean, we all accept the reality that uh, that the that Britain want to have some form of Brexit, even though many of us disagree and hope they wouldn't. But the reality is we have to do that. But the deals on the table is a very positive development. And uh, I, the cabinet is united. And in fact, it's right across the doll. There was a great positive uh, uh, reaction to it in the last 12 hours, so I'm delighted about that. But we are in difficult times yet. We have nothing, it's not resolved. Uh, something else on, on my own, back to my own portfolio. Last Friday, I had a fantastic visit to Drogheda, where I visited uh, Able Vision, which is a group for adults with intellectual disabilities who are involved in, in film producing and making their own film. And I was there at part of that launch and also presenting awards. It was a fantastic night. I just want to say to John Delaney and all the team, all the people involved in the, the Drehids Art Centre as well. Fantastic uh, uh, theatre and hall. And also great to see people with disabilities directly involved in filmmaking and acting and mime and drama. In other words, the part of the arts community. Because arts and disability is a very, very important part of it, both of enjoyment, developing self-esteem for young people, in, particularly with intellectual disabilities, and of course all the other disabilities. So that was a fantastic time. And another historic morning this morning in the Dáil was I had a visit of Aida Guevara, that's Che Guevara's uh, uh, daughter, all the way from Cuba, and had a fantastic meeting with her. We discussed uh, policies in, in relation to Ireland, the US, the, the blockade of Cuba and how they're suffering. But we also uh, uh, had a great in-depth discussion on disabilities and health. And I'm hoping to visit Cuba in the new year as well to see some of the disability services and see the magnificent practices that they have in their, in their GP health services, their primary care centres, and also their, their philosophy in relation to developing services and how there are no people in, in accident emergency departments on trolleys. And so there's a lot of serious stuff going on here as well. But also, Aida, I told her about her own situation in Ireland in relation to disabilities, the UN Convention, issues like that were very, very important. But fantastic warm meeting. Uh, great to see her. She's a fantastic woman. She's a medical doctor herself. She does great work in the whole field of medicine. She's also been involved in projects between uh, Beaumont Hospital in Cuba and the hospital, big hospitals in Havana. So there's a lot of work going on. We're trying to support them. They're a poor, a poor, a poor country being hammered by the next door neighbours, America. And now with Trump in power, this is making it very, very difficult. Obama tried to break down the barriers, but now it's getting difficult again. But it's up to independent, neutral countries like Ireland to be supportive of them, working very closely with them. And we can learn from each other. They have a fantastic philosophy in relation to health and education disabilities, and that's something that I want to learn from. So I'll come back to you again later on.